Out repoing, same old, same old, I guess. You never know what's gonna happen. Uh, I actually was out on a motorcycle drive about 15 minutes ago, something I commonly do when I'm out looking for repos, and I ran a brand new one that just came over from Credit Union on a 2000 GMC Sierra 1500. Uh, went by the address and it's sitting out there on the street, so I shot home and parked the bike, and now I'm in the Black Beauty, and we are just heading up the uh, Orem Hill here, heading into uh, pretty much the heart of Orem. I guess there's really two sections of Orem. There's the business section, which is what we're in right now, right along University Parkway that has all the dealerships. And then there's the uh, downtown Orem, which is off Center Street with a fire and police station on our post office and all that good stuff. But he's right down here just in uh, South Orem, almost North Provo. We're going to take uh, Main Street down into the neighborhood. And when I come back on, we'll be uh, approaching the house and we'll record the repossession. Hopefully he hasn't uh, taken off. Alright, so next corner is it. He's still there. And he is. That's our unit. Alright, here we go. shade we're gonna jump out and strap it down that's a wrap so when you're driving a repo like this that the wheels are cranked a little bit on you can see through the side view mirror if you watch for a second you watch the dotted lines going by you see where I'm keeping the nose of the truck just inside the far end of that one side of the lane and over here if you look at this side you see where my nose is kept I ride right along the inside of my lane here what they do is they keep both me and the repossessed vehicle within the center lane. I prefer the center lane. If you get on the outside lane and you get something like that road sign right there sticking out, you can smack the nose on it. And I just found that if you get over here in the fast lane, really there's no reason to be over there in the fast lane towing. Everyone's going to try going around you on this side. And that's the side that you're sticking out on. So you don't want to really encourage putting people into your blind spot. So in a situation like this, the center lane is what I prefer is the best lane. We got it called in to the uh, local police and we tried making contact to get a key but they did not answer. So I called into the local GMC dealership and talked to a buddy of mine that works in the parts department there and he is making me a key uh, based on the repossession order. They'll do that at, at re dealerships that we have relationships with and uh, I can pretty much get a key made for any year make model vehicle. Uh, typically we'll execute the repossession first and then we will uh, worry about getting keys and stuff so i'll go drop this at the yard and then i will head to uh, the dealership and pick up the key and then next time i'm at the yard i'll pair the two up and we'll have the ability to move the truck and park it and do stuff like that anyhow that was a good repo
All right, so here we are at the impound. Here's a live shot of what our camera sees as we come in. This allows us to keep a watch. We've shown this on other videos. You can see there it's in real time on my laptop. I can see over the internet if there's ever anybody sitting here at the yard waiting to get in or anything. So there is us at the yard. We'll drop the vehicle off and then we'll get a, down to the dealership and get a key for it. And head inside. The yard's looking kind of empty right now, which is good for the banks. We're staying busy too. It's, they're actually just turning them out really a lot faster and so we got a lot more room in the yard. You can see there's our signs, kind of hard to make out from that distance. Keep it on the back fence so that people don't really know what this yard is. It kind of from the street side, you can tell with this privacy fence, it just kind of keeps it hidden and looks like just a wall back here at the back of a parking lot. Yet there's a half acre all the way back for us to keep all of our stuff in. You can see where we keep our higher end RVs and stuff behind the taller fence. That was a city ordinance that required us to have privacy slots. So when you're down at a low angle, not up where the camera's at, but down at our angle, you, it looks like the fence is just solid 14 feet high. So, anyhow, it's enough yapping about that stuff. This tape's out. We're done with repos on this one. We'll put a new tape in and we'll go get a 